they came because they were afraid or afraid because they were happy or unhappy because they felt like pilgrims or didn't feel like pilgrims there was a reason for each man we were leaving bad wives jobs or bad towns they were coming to find something or leave something or get something to dig up something or bury something or live something alone. We were coming small dreams or large dreams or none at all. But a government finger pointed from four colored posters in many towns. There's water for you in the sky. See Mars. And the men shuffled forward. Only a few at first, the others fall. For most men felt the great illness in them, even before the rocket fired into space. And this disease was called the loneliness. Because when you saw your hometown, Windows the size of your fist, and then lemon size, and then hen size. You felt you had never been born. There was no town. You were nowhere. With space all around. Nothing familiar. Only all the strange men. And when the state of Illinois, Iowa, Missouri or Montana vanished into cloudy seas. And doubly, when the United States shrank to a massive island and the entire planet Earth became a muddy baseball tossed away, then you were alone, wandering the meadow of space, on your way to a place you couldn't imagine. So it was not unusual that the first men were few. The number grew steadily in proportion to the senses of Earthmen already on Mars. Now there was comfort in numbers. But the first lonely ones had to stand by themselves. <laughs>